welcome, welcome, welcome to Pop and Stash 102. I almost said pop. So if you want pop music, there's another channel over there, and it's all pop and recent music. But this is where it all started, 102. There's a link down below, and that will be a brief introduction on how to play over a 145 blues pentatonic stuff and how to hit the target notes so you sound like you know what you're doing, which is important, you know, if we're going to play out live or with friends or whatever but anyways this song is awesome and this solo is super cool got some very clapton -y inspired riffs in there and it's awesome so let's zoom in for closer look break it down all right so let's break this down it's going to be in b minor pentatonic and what we're going to do for b minor pentatonic position one would be seven ten <laughs> Okay, now it's gonna be mostly out of positions two and three on the higher strings. Okay, so that'd be nine, 11 on the G, then it's gonna be 10, 12 on the B and E. Then we're also gonna be out of position three on the 11th fret, 14th fret, and then we're gonna go B string, 12 to 15, and then 12 to 14 on the E. Okay, so a majority of the solo will be in positions two and three. Now to start it off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the B and the E 12th fret. And we're gonna bend them both together. So I kind of scrunch up the third finger and wrap it over just a little bit more than I normally would. And then you just basically concentrate on getting that high E string up to pitch and the B string kind of just goes with it. Now, for the next part, okay, so we got, now what I did there is I hit the B12 twice, then I'm going down to E10, and I'm going to bend up 12E a whole step. Now I'm gonna get right about to pitch, and then I'm gonna use, it's hard for me to bend my first finger a whole step, so I'm gonna use my second finger to help me, so I got. So you bend it up to pitch as well, back down, and then we're gonna go back to 12 on the B string, so we got. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to E12 and we're gonna bend, bend it twice. And then we're gonna bend B10 up a whole step. So it's Okay, so all together. Now we're gonna bend up E12 again. Okay, so what we do is we bend up E12 a whole step, and then 10th fret. <laughs> My brain's like B10, B, E, B, and it's just getting confused. My own brain while I'm trying to teach. Now what I meant to say would be E10. <laughs> so there we got. Now we're gonna go back to pitch. B12, G11, B12, E10, and then back. So we got one more time. Okay, now this is where we go up to the third position. Now that's going to be the 14th fret of the E string, and we're going to bend it up to the 17th fret, basically, a step and a half. Now we're going to go. So that's 12 to 14. Okay, so it's a real quick like trill, hammer on and pull off. So that's gonna be 12, 14, 12, and then we're gonna go B, 15, 12, okay? And then we're gonna go back to B, 12, and then 15 on the B and get it up to pitch and just release it and mute it with your palm. So, so 
shake that like you mean it a little bit, the 12th fret B. Okay, and then mute off once you get the pitch on that 15th fret B. Now we're gonna go back down to the first position. Okay, so what we do is we go to the G9, skip a string and go to E7. And then we're gonna go B10 back to E7. So on the G and the B strings, we're gonna bend a whole step. So we got. And now we're gonna go 10 on the B, seven on the B, nine on the G. So the whole riff. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the ninth fret, but we're gonna do a reverse bend. And what a reverse bend is, is you go all the way up to pitch first and then drop it down. Okay, so. So what we'll do is we'll go nine. Now what we're gonna do is go down to the seventh fret G, but you're gonna do that a little quarter note bend. Okay, so it's. That is gonna be D9. Shake it like you mean it on G7, and then go back to D9, so it's. Okay, so. Now it's gonna be. Okay. One more time, so that's gonna be E12, bending up a whole step. So that's gonna be E, and then 10. So we got Okay, so we're gonna bend once on the 12th fret, once on the 10th fret, but then we're gonna hit it when we come back to pitch. So it's and then we're gonna do a quick pull off slide to the 10th fret B. Now we're gonna go down again to the 14th fret or the third position. Okay, so. So that's gonna be just like we did in the beginning. But we're gonna come back to the high E string. Okay. And then back to the E12. So that's gonna be 15, 12 on the B, 14 G. Back to uh, B12. Okay, so it's. Really and that's the end. So slowly. Way to go, don't forget the link down below if you wanna learn how to you know, hit the target notes in a one, four, five as the chords go by so you sound like, you know, you know what's going on and people are like, dude, get Johnny or, or Roxette back up here to jam because they know what's going on. <laughs> Just remember, keep it happy, keep it fun, keep it real, keep it positive here at Papa Stash Pop. See, I did it again. 102, so that just shows me that I need to put more effort into this channel because I've neglected
the first fans and I, I don't mean to I just want to give you something awesome so sometimes it takes you know a little longer to work up a solo than a pop song <laughs> you guys are awesome thank you so much for checking in I'll catch you next time